Alright, it's Clinton from CNC Equipment. We got a little demo here for you guys today. We are actually a dealer for bomb light attachments, as you guys may know. Today we're going to be testing out their, uh, one of their stump grinders. Uh, this is the model S18. You guys can see there. It's got a 24 inch wheel on it. The thing weighs uh, 578 pounds. This is a skid steer mounted um, stump grinder. Bomb light has a full line of attachments. Um, mowers stump grinders boom mowers um, all kinds of things you have to get on their website link will be in the description below of their website we actually keep these in stock we keep some mowers in stock so we are a stocking dealer but you guys can see the quality of these products the paint weld um, just to build quality overall so this is kind of more of a basic model um, has replaceable teeth on it it actually works by uh, just moving a skid steer forward and backwards. We'll pull this pin out here and this thing actually pivots and it will just go along and eat the stump out there. So the nice thing about this style of uh, stump grinder, you get full power to this hydraulic motor here. You don't, uh, some of the other models, which they sell, they have the swing model, it takes a little bit of power away from the hydraulic system. So we've got full power to that motor at all times. So you can spec this uh, S18 um, up with about four different motor options to suit your skid steer. Um, they got two smaller ones and then the two bigger ones actually require a case drain. If you guys see here, there's just two lines on this one. This one does not require a case drain. It's kind of the middle of the road machine. Um, we've got it on a Bobcat T76 right now, kind of a mid-sized machine as well. So. If you've got a bigger machine, um, we can spec the motor up with a bigger motor. Like I say, this is kind of a middle of the road. We'll work on just about anything, keeping it simple. Um, they come with some actually replaceable teeth um, from the factory. We can get teeth for you, whatever you need. Carbide tipped cutters there. But uh, this is the first time I've used this type of uh, stump grinder. Like I said, I've used the swing grinders before where you pull up and park swing back and forth they work really well too so this one uh, has a 24 inch wheel like i said looks like about the depth the cut is six inches there um, which you can cut with the teeth and stuff so basically start at the front of the stump and walk your way back as that uh, pivot cuts so we'll get set up here and see what uh, what we got going on this is an oak stump that's not terribly old it's uh, over four foot in diameter, as you can see there. So it's, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it is sticking up about 12 inches above the ground. We've got uh, four or five more stumps around here we're going to cut out today. So we'll get set up here and see how she does. All right, first thing we're going to do here is actually pull out this pivot pin. That's going to allow that thing to hinge back and forth like this, as you guys will see here in a second. So. good cut there it looks like you want to start on the left side of the stump with this <clears throat> that way it keeps kicking your uh, shavings over to the left visibility of what you're seeing down here through the machine make sure we get all the roots over here
right, that thing's uh, pretty impressive out of the box. <clears throat> Actually impressed with how much uh, paint still on that thing yet. So you guys seen it cutting. This, like I say, this stump was about 48 inches in diameter and is nothing but uh, powder right now. Got good dirt there all ground up, stump's gone. Like I say, it's a pretty good size stump. You can see the size of the skid stew there and how big that area was. But I was about uh, 16, 17 minutes in real time and cut about 16 inches out of that so it's pretty impressive i've got a hickory stump we're going to do next hickory is one of the hardest woods we have here so it'll be interesting to see how it does but first impressions very impressed with it so far so all right we got a uh, hickory stump here this is a very hard uh, stump around here for sure this is about oh 24 28 inches in diameter so we're going to start on the left side here. This tree was just cut down about a week ago. It was still kind of alive, so it's going to be a good test of what's going on here. Give you guys a little shot underneath there, but watch it's doing its thing there. So Bomber Light's actually out of Canada. It's very, very nice components, nothing from overseas, all that good stuff. So very well built just taking a, about a three inch cut there around about a third of the wheel Alright, that was about 10 to 11 minutes in real time. You guys can see I'm a good ways down in the ground there. That's pretty quick, real quick. I didn't want to get too close to this uh, hickory tree here, so that was a hard stump. You guys can see it's all covered in dust, but things throwing off some good chips for sure. So the guy can use that right back and grow grass in it. So we got one more stump over here we're gonna grind. And uh, I'll set you guys up inside the cab here so maybe you can see a little bit of the action here. But this thing's doing awesome. It's good quality paint on there. It's still sticking on there after a couple stumps like that. So it seems best. Um, only use about a oh eighth or a quarter of the wheel at a time grinding that stump two or three inches. But yeah, it trucks right along really quick. So we'll get you guys set up in here. All right, so we got a maple tree here, I believe. Um, it's about, it was actually hollow in the center, but it's actually about a 28, 29 inch stump. Set up here inside the cab. Apologize for the windshield wiper right down there. Bobcat thought that was a good place to put it apparently, but it's not the best place when you're grinding stumps, but we'll make do with it, so. Again, we're starting on the left side of that stump there. You kind of just want to get your depth set and go with it. If you change your, uh, start moving your arms and stuff around a lot, it's going to pull some hydraulic power from your machine. So if you just use your travel, you'll have full power that way so you guys can see I'm just kind of cutting on the edge of that wheel there walking it over seems to be a lot more efficient that way
Alright guys, that's a wrap on this thing. I am thoroughly impressed with this Balmolite uh, stump grinder here. Ground a couple more uh, oak stumps up here on the septic field. If you guys know anything about septic systems, especially in Indiana, if you're in the woods, cannot uh, disturb the beds. That means you cannot take stumps out. You can cut the trees off flush, but we had a couple of big nasty ones right along the edge. So I was able to grind those out. It's going to make it a little nicer back here. So it's another, another little extra thing. You guys are out here with the skid steer anyway in these jobs throw a stump grinder on her and grind those out but this thing's held up extremely well ground about six stumps out here in about a little over an hours worth of time I can't believe the paint is still on this wheel shows the quality of their stuff there but uh, teeth are still looking perfect carbide cutter teeth are all replaceable actually give you a few extra ones with the machine in case you bust one on a rock or something like that so but that thing is uh, very strong very quick um, like I say, the only maybe slight downfall is to it, you've got to move the machine back and forth a little bit, so you're going to be in there cleaning stuff up anyway. I don't see that as being a big hindrance. They do make the other models with the arms that swing around and stuff. You do cut a little bit of your power away when you start doing the swing action with your hydraulics there, so this has 100% full flow to that motor, which makes that dude pretty quick, so I was very impressed with how quick it, uh, actually did stuff so they actually have cycle times on their website on different stump diameters with whatever hydraulic motor you pick and uh, their times are actually a little a little generous everything I done was way under what they were saying so pretty impressed with that um, there's like four different motor options for this model you can get on their website they have all the different machine makes and models of flows gallons per minute um, all that stuff listed so if you don't know what your machine is you can get on there and more than likely they've got it on there and can tell you what it is so very nice website for sure um, like I say this one's set up kind of the middle of the road flow and stuff this bobcat handled it very well so this would make something a uh, good good piece for a rental fleet or something like that too you don't have to worry about it falling apart or something like that so very simple to design two hoses plug it in and go so you guys like this video give me a big thumbs up it helps me out a lot and uh, if you liked what you've seen leave some comments below and uh, we'll catch you guys next time